In this video, I've got a really glitchy cover to beater for you out of the U-Trips Formation Man 22. If you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. We do videos like this every single day to become better at Madden. And if you want to get my full U-Trips ebook, I've got a full offensive guide on the Y-Off Trips patch or the U-Trips Formation in my Patreon membership. You can join the Patreon for just $10. Gets you access to all of the setups, all the offensive and defensive guides. We've broken down over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks this year if you want to get more uh, like i said we've got more on the way got one coming out this week on the defensive side of the ball we also update the membership pretty much every single week with new material so if you want to check that out again that'll be linked down in the description today i want to show you a glitchy cover two beater and that comes to us out of the pat slot out in the patriots offensive playbook now what we're going to do here real quick is most people just to kind of set the context here most people when they run a double mabel defense you will typically see a cover two on this side of the field, okay? And then this guy is gonna go into a deep half zone, okay? So that's basically gonna be beat like a cover two defense to the short side and a cover three defense to the wide side. So what I like to do with this is real simple. We're going to uh, we're gonna take Scotty Miller and we're gonna put him on a curl. You could also put him on an in route. You could put him on whatever you want. He's kind of your check down player. And then we're going to uh, take our running back. You can put your running back on a wheel. You can put your running back on a streak. Or you could put him on something else. But I like to wheel him. And then we're just going to motion this corner to the left side. So you see it looks just like this. And when we snap the ball, you're going to see that this safety will turn his hips inside. And at that point right there, it's a real snug little window. But there is a small little window in which you can hit this. Um, in which you can hit this against cover two. So I'll show you it again. And again, a lot of times people are going to create their cover two out of the safety here. Um, and, and, and typically they're going to use her obviously on the left-hand side of the screen. So the tight end streak is really helpful or um, you, want, you might want to smart route that route. Just get the tight end to get down the field as quick as he can. Um, you know, maybe do something like this. And then if you want to let Mike Evans set his feet, I have noticed a little bit more success. Just letting him kind of set up here um, because he'll get outside and again here. Now, if you get to this close thing, a lot of times you can click on an aggressive catch it and you'll basically cut it off relatively easily against these guys. Now, another thing that you can do with this play is you can streak your running back. And I'll show you what that looks like real quick. The real cool, the, the good thing about the streaking of the running back is it will kind of, again, we're just trying to get that safety to suck into the seam just a little bit more than he's than he's likely to do. So, um, so again, just, you know, streak the running back, you know, maybe curl, whatever you want to do with the backside, it doesn't matter to me. And then you snap it kind of once he crosses, you see that safety comes inside and then you've got a nice little swerve angle um, you've got a nice little swerve angle to the outside. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch it. Um, but like I said, what's cool about this, like I said, is, is that most people, when they run Mabel, they will run something like this, uh, where they have that deep half. And so this little fade right here, pass lead that outside. There you see it getting over the top of the cover too. That's kind of typically what'll happen. I might've been throwing that honestly just a split second too early. Sometimes that can happen. Um, especially if you have gunslinger, you're gonna have a lot of success with this though because you'll be able to put the ball where you wanna be able to put it. But basically it's a small little window outside pass lead that you're looking to hit. I would snap this guy kind of right about here and then you'll see kind of wait, 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 pass lead left. If you get that, you want to aggressive catch it just to kind of protect yourself a little bit uh, from any kind of interception. But again, this is, this is one of my favorite cover two beaters in the game because a lot of people are used to being able to run cover two to the short side this year. This is a way that they basically can't. Now I'll show you something else in just a second about cover three and cover four um, from this from this play. It's actually a really good coverage beater. But anyways, I'm just get this guy out on the corner and see how you kind of have that small little window um, that you can hit it. This is another reason why, like I said, I like to I like to let this guy set his feet because when we when we can let him set his feet, a lot of times it'll help us a lot with the safety you know, you're going to get a little bit better leverage. Um, the press kind of does honestly hurt us. If you smoke screen this guy, um, that can help a little bit, you know, just kind of something simple like this. And then 
pass lead that outside and get that little swerve catch on the outside obviously the tight ends open as well so you know it is it is what it is but anyways that's that's kind of how i like to use this to beat cover two but what i wanted to do was take a second and show you something about this against cover three and cover four so let's say they are going to run cover three on you there's going to be this wide open alley to the seam and we have this corner route to mike evans this is also why i think it's really helpful to let him set or put him on a smoke screen or something because against cover three um what you'll see here is the tight end he'll basically serve as a clear out for for your tight end on this play another thing you can do though like i said uh in the beginning is a wheel route to the running back so let's say they're playing cover three and you wheel route your running back so you got a wheel and a corner sometimes this will get open um, if it doesn't your tight end is open so your tight end is kind of your check down honestly um, just in terms of how this is going to play what this is also really good about is um, or good for is the shaded underneath main coverage meta and the reason why is because you're going to get a mismatch with this coverage you'll see right here if you snap kind of right in here this little fade will get over the top of a shaded underneath man coverage player as you can see so it's a really good little bomb route that you have so you can beat cover two you can beat cover um you can you can kind of beat cover three cover three is a little bit better i will say um what you can do if they're running a lot of cover three though is um a simple streak so if you just straight up streak him if like if you know for a fact they're probably gonna be in cover three and you run like a like a like a three streak or two streak or whatever, two seams. This can be really good because it's just an inside pass lead. Click on, you're gonna make the catch. You could do that with the fade, but it's a little easier with the streak. And then lastly, um, match coverage. So let's say they run match coverage on you. This can be decent against match. Um, you just want to make sure again, kind of messing with the timing a little bit of this. You want to kind of snap it like right in here. And a lot of times against match it will dumb out it doesn't there so we're going to check it down to our tight end um, or our little underneath route that maybe we have coming underneath the tight end but a lot of times in match coverage i just noticed that they'll get confused um they'll get confused here and it's it's pretty interesting so like i said if you just kind of snap him like right about here um you'll see a lot of times they'll get confused they're not getting confused but anyways you can mess around with that against cover four quarters and then cover four drop uh probably defends this the best um that i've seen but basically same kind of thing you're gonna snap him kind of right about in here this fade can get open but a lot of times they're gonna be able to hang with it and you're gonna want to go to your tight end or your other check down primarily this is one of my favorite plays though like i said against cover two and the reason why I like it so much against cover two is because it's very common um, to play cover two to the short side especially if you're going to run a mabel defense and i also like this a lot against man to man and a lot of people right now are playing man to man and so this is just something that you can go to that i think is fairly effective again once he kind of sets his feet to the inside you can hit this to the outside in a tight little window so mess around with this just kind of a fun little play today out of u-trips was messing around with this a little bit against cover two i think it's pretty good it's also good out of bunch there's a couple routes out of bunch that make this really good as well but mess around with this i think you'll have some fun and again this is how i like to beat cover two or be able to just kind of again beat the cover three version of the cover two which is very popular right now in madden 22.